हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक मॉड्यूल पूल प्रोग्रामिंग इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑफ मॉड्यूल पूल वी कवर्ड व्हाट आर मॉड्यूल पूल इवेंट्स हाउ वी कैन डू द नेविगेशन बिटवीन द स्क्रीन्स इन मॉड्यूल पूल प्रोग्रामिंग नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद नेक्स्ट टॉपिक we created two screens one is 100 and one is 200 screen now we will design the header layout on 100 screen and we will design the item layout on 200 screen means we will go for or we will display the header data on 100 screen and we will display the item data on the 200 screen we created the two tables when we covered the topic data dictionary one is our header table and one is our item table order header table and order item on the 100 screen we will display data from order header table and on the 200 screen we will display the data from order item table so what we will do we we'll start with designing the layout on 100 screen then we will come on to 200 screen i will firstly double click on 100 screen now how to design a layout in module pool programming you can design the layout in module pool programming using screen painter using screen painter how to open the screen painter click on the screen and there is a button lay out whenever you will click on the layout this is your screen painter this is your screen painter you can design the layout elements using the screen painter we will see how what will be our layout which we will design firstly we will design a label for order number in front of this we will design a input field for order number where user will pass the value of order number we will design one button suppose name of the button is submit now whenever user will click on the submit button we will display the header data order header data this is our layout means we will create a label for order number we will create a input field for order number and whenever user will click on the submit button we will display the order header data from the order header table for that particular order number this is our requirement we we'll start with designing of this layout firstly we will create a label you can see on the left hand side we have the various layouts elements suppose this is reset this is your text field this is input output field this is your check box this is your radio buttons so we have all the layout elements and depends upon the requirement we can create the layout elements and this is our screen painter we are designing the screen through screen painter firstly 
we will create a label. So I'll simply select text field and draw. I will give some name to the label. Suppose I'm saying order underscore LBL. I will give some text to the label that will be visible to the customer. This is order number. So I provided the text. Now we will create a input field where user can pass the input of order number. So we have here input output field. I simply select and drop. Here user will pass the input of order number. How? How we can bind, how we can bind a particular field because here user will pass the input of order number. How we will pass? We we'll simply in module pool, it's very easy. You can simply give table name hyphen column name. This is your table name. And which particular column? Which particular column of this table? Order number column because here user will pass the input value of order number. So how I'm defining table name hyphen column name. And I will press enter. It is asking, do you want to refer this element to the data dictionary? Yes, we want to refer, we want this element to take the same to same properties as that of this order number. So I'll simply go for yes. Now we will create a button. How to create a button? We have a push button here. I'll simply drag and drop. I will give some name to the button. Suppose name of the button is submit underscore BTN. I will give some text to the button. Now, most important part we already covered in the previous videos also, every button requires a function code, function code. Now, Whenever you are designing any layout element, you can see the properties of that layout element by simply double click. Suppose if I double click on this button, these are the properties of this button. Suppose I, if I double click on the label, these are the properties of the label. Suppose if I double click on this input output field, these are the properties of input output field. I will double click on the button and I will give a function code to the button. It is very, very important step. Suppose my function code of the button is display. Now, we designed one label. We designed one input output field. I'll say input because here we will pass the input. We created one push button. Whenever user will click on the button, we will display the data of various fields from order header table. It is very, very easy in module pool to go for this particular requirement. Simple. You can go for this button, dictionary slash program fields. There's a shortcut. You can simply click. Pass your table. I will pass my header table from where I want the columns.
I will click on to get from dictionary. Suppose from the order header table, we will take order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. Suppose we will take these four fields. You can go for OK and you can simply drop here. It is asking, do you want to convert payment mode in the form of checkbox? No, we'll simply want to display like this only. Do not transform. Okay. And you can see label value, label input output, label input output, label input output. So these all came automatically. Uh, it's your wish. If you do not want to take a shortcut, you can go by other way also. Similarly, we designed this. You can take a label. You can take a input output field. You can take a label. You can take a input output field. It's your wish, but we have a shortcut. So we used that shortcut itself directly. Now these four are our output only. These are not input, but we have a single layout element input output. We have a single layout element input output. These all are input output, but these all are our output only. User will not pass the input here. So how we can do? We we'll simply double click and properties opened will go to program and we will simply remove this checkbox input. You can see now it is simply a display only field, display only field. I'll double click. I will remove input. I will double click. I will remove input. I will double click. I will remove because these four are our output fields, output fields. So what we did in this particular video, we started learning the screen painter and we learned how to create a label, how to create a input output field, how to create a push button, how you can take the shortcut to display the columns directly, or you can design one by one also. It's your wish. Rest part will continue in the next video. Thank you.